As protesters waved placards outside a U.S. Army base to voice support for Private First Class Bradley Manning, prosecutors and defense attorneys clashed in a hearing room not far away. The U.S. intelligence officer is accused of leaking hundreds of thousands of sensitive items to the anti-secrecy group WikiLeaks. The question now is whether there is enough evidence to bring him to trial on charges he's a traitor, something that could mean a life sentence if he's convicted. Manning supporters insist he's done nothing wrong. Why wouldn't I be here today? We should all be here today. This kid's getting railroaded. Saturday, his attorneys argued his status as a gay soldier before the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell played an important role in his actions. They also argued much of the classified information that wound up on the WikiLeaks website posed no risk to the U.S. government. Protesters see Manning as a whistleblower, not a traitor. He is a hero. He told us information that we needed to know to make informed decisions, and that was his intention. On the other hand, prosecutors say Manning gave WikiLeaks U.S. military and diplomatic secrets. Saturday, they objected to questions by the defense about Manning's sexual orientation. When the hearing ends, a presiding officer, not a judge, will make a recommendation about whether prosecutors have presented enough evidence to bring Manning to a trial. A military commander will have the final decision. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.